Welcome back to Gaming for Grandparents. I'm Echo Pearl, so let's get into the game for today. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. We are back to playing one of my favorite games, Al Adelatado Trilogy, and this is the third version of this game, Book 3. And I prefer this version because there's a lot of little things that they improved about it. We finished chapter one, so now we're going to go to chapter two. Start. So I have to get 100 gold, five survivors, and discover the entire territory. And start the game. We need two for starters. Well, we, we need food. So we're going to repair this garden. Once they get there. And this guy pops up, he's like a competitor. So we can kind of compare our progress to his progress. Because he's like the really good guy. But I don't worry about this because I'm playing kind of in casual mode. Um, but at any rate, now we're uh, building the woodcutter. So it'll cut down all these trees. And I have some type of a treasure over here. Let me move this. There we go. Found it. We have food here. So my little guy here is in the red cave. And that's who I control most of the time. So there's an unusual tree with the treasure hidden in its roots. Alright, so that takes care of that section. I need to build the sawmill now. Because these are, guys are cutting down wood. All the workers are going out grabbing the uh, wood and then they'll bring it into the sawmill here. Now, now we can build a watchtower in place of the abandoned lookout and increase our territory so they're talking about building this right here um, and that will clear out all this fog but I have to drop down here to this building and all the buildings that I want to build are in this section here now some buildings are very specific of where you can place them other buildings uh, you can place them anywhere you want to that will fit and that's the key words that will fit so I'm gonna pull my little red cape guy here out and clear some of this brush here now I have 67 food 95 wood 20 stone and 40 uh, silver. Day 22. Today we slowly set out into the forest, working our way through waist-high bushes, when suddenly we heard terrible sounds shake the air. So this is my second secret that I'm finding. This is a granite mine, so I can repair that. I have what is needed to be able to repair that. Now, and this is why I send this guy around to clearing bushes, is because of the secrets. Alright. So I will have him come over, break all these pots, because he's the only one that can. And in the meantime, I'm going to have the stone cutter built. Now, down here, if we get a blue gem, it's a, or jewel, stone, whatever you want to call it. Let me get the workers together with this food here. But at any rate, so, granite mine produces granite, requires to make bricks. The more granite you get, the more bricks you can produce. Uh, the stone cutter produces brick from granite bricks and are one of the main resources for building towers and discovering new territories. 
So we have to have stone to build watchtowers, that's the point. Now all of these have this type of explanation. You can go into any one of these. Whoops. Click on any one of these and it can tell you a little bit of information. Um, but I'm looking for secrets. But at any rate, down here. If you get a blue stone, it's strength. If you get a red stone, you're, that's speed. You'll, your workers, as well as um, Al Delatondo, he will move faster. And then if you get a green stone, that's an oratory, which is what you use to speak to some of the chiefs. Um, or the priest within the chiefs. Alright, so... I am going to go ahead and build another garden right here. And then I'm also going to go in and build a workshop. And I'm going to put that workshop, I think, I think I'll put it right here. Sorry, it's a worker's house, not a workshop. There is the option later to get a workshop, I believe, but we're not to that point yet. So now I have enough stone and enough silver and enough food and enough, well, I don't need lumber, um, to build this. So I need to grab the watchtower and place it specifically there because that's where your watchtower go. That will clear out this fog here. Expand using watchtowers and totems. We haven't reached a totem yet, so as soon as we do, I'll show you how the totems work. Now, I don't have that many more trees in this area, so I don't know that I'll make any more wood there, but I may be able to put a woodcutter here. Alright, so I may be able to put a woodcutter here. But I'm going to go ahead and grab these pots and send him over to grab these pots. Now, this altar of speed, it's like the redstone here, but it's temporary. I will only have that speed for a short amount of time. Go ahead and see if I can get somebody there. I'm going to look for secrets all along here. Right there, there's a secret. Anytime you see the question mark, you've got a secret. Alright, we found some buried gold. I have to send my guy there to go pick it up. Oh, I'd Delatai. Deladato. Sorry, I know I'm beating up his name. This is an altar of mist that will clear this mist away. But you have to have so much material to be able to do that. Um, so we actually have to give this altar 50 food. And I have to have find a green stone because I have to have this. So it wants me to have an oral oratory level 3, and I'm at oratory level 2, so I can't clear that mist out. So I spent quite a bit of time looking for the green stone that I need for level 3, and I failed to move my screen down to this bottom section. Right there. So that's going to get all of these trees here, and some of these trees over here. Now, I have to find, there, right there, no, it's a bush. I'm trying to find the green stone. All right, so now I've got 10 logs. I need more sawmills. I'm also gonna need more gardens, so I'm gonna do both. Gardens, 
and I'm going to move a sawmill and put the sawmill right here so it's closer to this one and then I'm going to build another worker's house right here now eventually this will he, he won't be able to reach many more trees all he's got is this little pile of trees that he can still access so once he gets done with those few trees I can demolish this woodcutter here and clear up that space but I think I'm gonna build one more home right here because right now I want to try to put workers as close to these different machines so that they're walking that way to get that walking that way to get that whatever um, yep, I'm still looking for that green stone. As you can see, I'm moving my mouse all over the place except for down at the bottom. Ugh. Whatever. Uh, I need. At different levels, you will encounter altars that impart temporary effects. Try to use altars only when you really need them, like. That's why I wasn't rushing over to get this, because I really don't need this right now. They do um, reset, so you can go back and over, but it like is like several minutes later. Um, altar of Speed increases movement speed. The Altar of Productivity increases profit from surrounding buildings. The Altar of Time stops the game timer. And the Altar of Efficiency reveals the efficiency bar. You can use the sidebar to track how much time is left on an altar. This is the sidebar that they're talking about. Alright, come on, where's the little green stone that I need because I have to have a level 3. It should pop up as something that I can send my little red cape dude to go get. Ah, <laughs> I missed it. Okay, um, yeah, I need to move my screen over. I need to come here first. See how he's got red behind him? It's because he's speeding. Um,. We lift our prayers to the heart of the skies, to the Lady of the Life, to her, her who brings light, make an offering. So they needed 50 bricks. We had 200. And there's my little oratory that I need. So my little green screen. My little green stone, sorry. Um, gonna repair the fisherman's hut. Nice, we've got a dinosaur there. Now, attached to the fisherman's hut is a smoker. So the fish is caught and then the smoker cooks it. Or smokes it, I should say. Fishermen produce fish who is used to, to make food. Fisherman houses can only be built over abandoned piers. Food produced in the smokery is one of the most lucrative sources of profit. Smokery process fish and provide substantial amounts of food. So we have the gardens, but now we have the fish. Um, you cannot build a smokery until you have built a fisherman's hut. Okay, I have found a secret. We discovered a large clearing among the trees. As we approached, we saw a strange creature walking there, which we had never seen before. Its size was enormous. Gods must be praised. I didn't. Gods be praised, I, it didn't notice us. That would be the creature he's talking about. So that's another secret. And the way that you can keep track of your secrets is right here. So our main goal is gold, so, um, survivors, discover the territory. Um, we haven't found the survivors yet. I found four secrets, I still have five remaining. This shows me the number of stones that I've found. I'm going to come over here. 
behind this dinosaur that I hope is an herbivore. Grab this food. And chop some more bushes. And now we have another dinosaur. Now there's not an option for me to go straight across without some type of bridge. Um, and I think that's true for every single scene where you see water. He can't go into the water. Except for if it's very shallow. And you can tell when they can do that. Okay, so now I have to do an altar of water and donate 50 wood. Well, I have 34 logs, which means I need more. See how this is abandoned? So I'm going to demolish it and I'll get 7 wood for that. There. Now I can put more workers' houses in this area as well as more sawmills. So let me get my sawmill going here. I think I'll put the sawmill there. I think I'll do another sawmill here. So as far as how many sawmills do you do? I've got 40 logs that have to be cut up. So I need more saw sawmills. Um, where you see how the mine here, we don't have any extra stone. This guy is sitting around waiting. Yeah. That's how you know when you need more of something. I'm going to go ahead and build another workshop right here. Alright. Now I can come back over here. Since I have plenty of wood still. Here's what you are able to read in the name of the mighty Atualu Atmahua. Um, I, I'm not pronouncing these. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be pronouncing a lot of these things correctly. Lord of the Waters, we bring these gifts, hoping to see a new pathway, make an offering. And we agree to it, and there's our path. So now we can get to our green stone. And now that we can get to our green stone, we can come up here and do our offering to the mist altar. And see how this is still discharged? It'll pop back up as red when I have access to that. And agree. Alright, so now up here I'm going to clear these pieces of brush out. Put a woodcutter right here to go ahead and take on. And it will tell you red or green whether or not that's going to fit there. So I'm doing that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a worker's house up here. I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to do a sawmill up here too. There we go. Alright, let's come over here, grab this. So I have a sawmill here. I'm going to put a woodcutter over here. And then I'm apparently going to give them a bunch of food here. Oh, another woodcutter. Okay, so that's been abandoned. Alright. When I give that altar a hundred food, I'm only going to be down to, I'm only going to have a hundred, or thirty-eight left. So I'm going to actually see if I can fit, and I was able to, put a um, garden right there. Alright, so now, oh good, we could have a fisherman thing too. Give a hundred in food. Okay, I don't have access to that yet. But I need to do a fisherman's hut right here. Let me see if I can do another smoker behind it. I can do one right here. 
All right. I'm going to go ahead and do a woodcutter right here. And I'm going to do an... Uh, oh, I can't do anything. I don't have enough food. I'm going to do another um, house there. But let me go ahead and talk to these survivors up here. We are happy to greet you, Don Diago. We fell behind our expedition, but fortunately... Oh, I forgot his name is actually Don Diago. <laughs> I kept calling him Aldalatado. Um... We fell behind our expedition, but fortunately, we are able to. Fa we were able to found a. We were able to find a small settlement here. We will be glad to serve you. So, I've accomplished the goal of survive, uh, finding five survivors. So that's done. Now, right now, I have five survivors saved, only four secrets, and five secrets may remain. This is my gold here. I have to have a hundred. All right. So here we have a warehouse. That's important because all of these shops now can bring or all of these things here can bring the, the supplies up here instead of taking it all the way back to the headquarters. Because down here, everybody is running all this stuff to the headquarters. And now that we have a warehouse, I want to keep an eye for the option to build them in the future. But I don't have that option yet. It's still early in this chapter. We'll go ahead and repair this bridge. That's a healer's hut that does matter. But I can't repair it yet. Okay, we... This one is done. We can get rid of that. I'm not going to worry about those few trees that are there. At least not yet. Alright, so we can add another watchtower. So let's Oh, I don't have enough silver, so I can't add that yet. Now, and I can't do the healer's hut yet. Yeah, I'm wounded and need urgent help. Repair the healer's hut house, and he will be able to heal me. Now I get to repair that. I had a feeling I had to blow him up in order to build that. And I was right. I'm just looking to see if... Okay. Enables you to use medical services to heal wounds. You cannot give orders to Don Diego while he's wounded. Yeah, he won't do anything. He just lays there in a crumpled mess. Careful, some containers can explode. And we just proved that. Thanks for the instructions on that after that. Let me see if that will pick up. These larger bushes will give three. The smaller ones only give one. One unit of food. Okay, but I have to find a way to make silver. Oh, never mind. I don't. <laughs> it was in that chest that blew us up. Okay, let me watchtower this. And I'm going to also add a workers' house up here. I'm going to put it right here, though. I've already got one up here, but I can tell I need more. Now... This should open up this area here. And what's funny, these are the, the construction workers. Now there's going to be a little guy in an armor suit that runs to the tower. And until he gets to the tower, we still have that all messed up. Yeah, he likes to brag about, hey, I'm ahead of you. 
So, remember, yeah. See, Pablo. Oh, Diago. Um, well, Diago is easier to say, so I'm glad of that. Okay, let me get a worker to clear out this. And then we'll have to build this to clear out the rest of this. And hopefully there's some type of bridge or something that can get us to this side so we can get this down. Speed, strength, okay. Alright, so right here. In order to cross the this, we need a suspended bridge. Let's build one. Okay. So I come in here and suspend the bridge. We repaired one over here, but now we had to actually retrieve it from here. Um, oh, and we have another altar of speed. Alright, so let me first grab this, because that's a priority. I think I'm going to build a worker's house right here. So I'm going to clear that brush away. See if I can fit a worker's house right here. Maybe when that brush is cleared away I can. There. Found another secret. A glade, a glade appeared in the fern thicket. And we saw several seething and seething mud geysers that ejected a gas unknown to us. Okay. Go ahead and bust that up. Now I need to speak to this elder, but before I do that, I'm just going to have him go ahead and finish, you know, gathering stuff and, and knocking the brush out of the way. to this brush here. All of your awards are displayed here. So as I get boards or food or trees spelled, it gives awards. But that's throughout the entire book, not just in one chapter. Yeah, I don't know where the secrets are, so I have them clear out all the brush. Now, now that I have workers here, I'm going to have them rebuild the farm here. Building upgrades increase their income for certain buildings. Production speed is also increased. A star on the building shows its level. The highest level is 3. Throughout the game, certain actions will enable you to upgrade buildings. Repairing buildings on a new level. Finding upgrade techniques technologies talking to survivors okay so this is a two star we can increase our food supply by upgrading our gardens to level two okay see how this is a one star now we can click on that arrow and it takes 15 of these, but now we have, see, the other thing is, these gardens lose efficiency over time. See how the efficiency bar is down, which is causes the production bar to go down. Okay, I'm not going to keep doing that because I can build gardens up here. So, how many gardens can I fit into this section? Two. Good. Still need silver, but at least I have the stone and the, um, wood and food. So I have plenty of those things. See, I have a question mark here that tells me I have another secret here. Yeah, I'm being told to hurry. Searching the heap of trash, you find someone's supplies. 
Awesome. Okay. Now let me talk to this gentleman. It's a great miracle that you were that you are here. My brother is very sick, sick, and I stayed behind with him when all the others left to look for better lands. You are our last hope. Please help us. Okay. Now I'm just going to send the medical team over to him. And they show up with their little white bag. And work their miracles. And now he's all better. And now we talk to him. Oh God, eternal glory be upon you and your men. Thank you. Now what? Thank you. We didn't get the reward this time, but don't despair. The adventure continues. Yeah, that's why I said I don't. I'm not worried about the time. Um, had I got this all done in time, um, it would not be a darker screen right now. But because I was well, because I couldn't find that green stone, <laughs> my brother said that great weakness came upon him after visiting the village of Uchibil Uchilabu. Uchilabu. He is very worried. Could you please check upon the village and ask the elders how everything's going? Alright, so when we get this, this is a secret passage that will take us elsewhere. Alright, so I've just walked through this. This is my way in and out. I'm going to immediately see... I've got eight people. Let's... Oh, I don't have any... Okay, I don't have any silver. So let me send him there. Go ahead and... Here's my silver I need for the lookout. Alright. Now I have what I need for the watchtower. And we'll put that there. Go ahead and have him continue to break pots. Because we still have to get a hundred. Break these bushes. Alright, so I've sent the healer to help him. I need more workers. I don't know where I need more workers, but that's okay. I will add more workers here. Um, go talk to him. You have saved me from death. Our whole village was struck by an unexplainable illness. The gods punished us for our disobedience, but then they had mercy and sent you. This kind of rewrites history, but at any rate. Um, go ahead and heal that guy up. God be praised, I've recovered. If I had riches, I would give all of them to you. But I'm just an elder. All I can offer you is my good wishes. May the gods guard you and protect you. Thank you. Again, a little bit of rewriting of history, but we also have dinosaurs in this era too. So, creative, what is it? Creative license, I guess. I found another secret. Among the thick, r thick rushes, the old men saw the white fish and white frog foretold by the god. Oh no! Hutsilo Bachiti, actually. Um, heard the shriek of an eagle devouring a snake and then began to weep. For this land would be hours, hours from now on. Typo. Normally I don't read these aloud, so I never notice those typos again. 
RP4. But then when you go to read them aloud, it's like, hmm, that's not how I would say it. Alright, so I've cleared this area. Now I can come back and report to him. May God's blessing abide you. With abide with you. Thank you for caring enough to help our brothers. Okay, I'm done. Thank you. Um, I need to clear this. To control the size of the local monster habitat, we keep a close eye on their nest. If you happen to find an egg, bring it to me. I'll show you the place where the strange sounds were coming from. Okay. Ah. So once I talked to him, he cleared the bog away. So let me go ahead and go over here and, and break up this brush. These bushes real quick. Now, as we advance in the game, the dinosaurs will come out of these holes and attack our buildings. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and do a worker's um, right here and do a woodcutter's hut right here. Alright, let me come over here and grab these eggs. got the egg. Go ahead and destroy that bush there. Sawmill? Okay. Nope, I don't want to devour it. Destroy it, rather. Alright, so now we can come back over here. Thank you. Perhaps you will find your happiness down this path. Good luck, friends. Alright. So, now what happens is we have an altar. And this altar is going to get rid of this mess. But in the meantime, I'm going to have them break these bottles or pots here. And then send somebody from one of the houses here to... Uh, build that altar. I like to try and move him to where he's right there for when this scene opens up. So I'm constantly trying to progress him to the optimal spot where I need to be. Alright, so I've discovered the entire territory. I just need... Oh, and I have all the gold I need. So I need to start looking at shipping the gold. But they have to build a hot air balloon station. I've got a little thing here. Let me see if this is the last. Nope, I have one more secret to find. Searching the nest, you will find some extra resources. Okay. I'm now just going back and looking to see if I've missed a secret somewhere down here because I wasn't looking that closely for secrets in this area because I was, you know, progressing the game. Alright. I'm not finding them here, but I can go ahead and give him the money so he can take off in his hot air balloon. Agree. Complete. Done. All my tasks are done. I have one secret that I need to find. Uh, now we must find the way to new lands. Okay. So let me go talk to this gentleman. I'm going to say propos to you, stranger. I have brought good news. The elders have found a way to counter Azaka Toddle's curse. 
Soon it will become possible to rebuild the settlement. It, it would help us greatly if you repaired the destroyed huts. huts. Alright, so I'm going to have someone fix the huts. And I have plenty of resources to do so. I never do find the last secret. So even though I'm going back over everything and trying to see if I can find it. I'm not finding it. It might have been in one of the other areas uh, through that passage, and I didn't look very closely there. Um, I really don't know, uh, but I didn't find it, so doesn't look like I'm going to find this last secret, so we will go ahead and finish up the game. Thank you, da thank you. Dangerous lands are further ahead. Be careful, and may all of your efforts be successful. Thank you. Now, because I didn't get it in time, um, I did not get this, the wax seal. So I found most of the secrets, but I didn't do it in a timely manner. So I didn't get the time points. Uh, it took me longer. So, but that's okay. I hope you enjoy watching this game as much as I enjoy playing it. So we will continue it until we conclude it. I really want to encourage grandparents to stay mentally active through gaming. I want to mentally challenge them with strategy games and task management games and creative games like Minecraft. So if you appreciate my effort in trying to encourage your grandparents to stay mentally young, please let them know about this channel and let them know it is free to subscribe. There's no cost. And again, thanks for watching Gaming for Grandparents.